please stop please stop because we're a human being prawns and fresh fish straight from the waters off Ireland local food sustaining a traditional way of life except in reality the Irish fishing industry is increasingly dependent on undocumented migrant workers. We've spoken to Filipinos, Ghanaians and Egyptians working on Irish trawlers. Some of the people come in, not li come in legally, you know, like not coming with visa or something, and some of them come in with a visa. Many of them live in fear of deportation. Some appear to have been trafficked. They come hoping for a better life for their families back home. Some are happy to have the work, but several describe working long hours for low pay. Some talk of extreme sleep deprivation, having to work for days and nights on end without proper rest. For four days, five days, no sleep. I'm be tired, but I put only in my mind, this is for my family, this is for my children. They live on their boats for months, they have to ask permission to go on land, and they're warned to hide. The boat is my house. <laughs> you're fishing, you make money, and that's also your house, because you have no choice. One route in is to fly to Heathrow, then on to Belfast on a two-day transit visa, and cross illegally into Ireland by road. Trawler owners and recruitment agencies like Diamond Age appear to be exploiting this. Fishing's always been a tough job, but undocumented migrants who often work without Irish safety training can be exposed to conditions that are dangerous and on occasion fatal. A major sea and air search is underway in Glandor Harbour today for five people who are missing after a trawler ran aground at the mouth of Glandor Harbour around half five this morning. <laughs> There are plenty of rules and regulations, but the Irish government, wanting to protect its 850 million euro seafood sector, appears to be turning a blind eye. This is the story of globalized slavery. The story of how giant international supermarkets are selling prawns fed by slave labor.